continue the trend a bit. I think the most important issue affecting Maynard is simply traffic. A lot of that, actually most of it, is caused by the rapid growth that the area is seeing, not just Maynard, but outside of us as well, and everybody just passing through the area. Um, you'll notice in the morning, if you wake up anywhere between 6 and 9, regardless of where you are in the city, you're stuck. A lot of that has to do with, yeah, 290 being back up, but people are diverting from those roads, cutting through back roads, cutting off our neighbors, and you know every neighborhood's back up as a result. Uh, you can see that, all right, when I'm block walking, this is the topic that comes up regardless of which neighborhood I'm in, whether it's Presidential Glen, Stonewater, Bell Farms, Wild Horse. It's a, it's a universal issue that people bring up as their first one. I think that 290 toll extension is the realistic solution to this. Yeah, there are other things you can do with like changing lights, um, making sure those are lined up more effectively and efficiently. Um, 973 is already in the works, um, a product you know, a few years down the road. But unless we do something realistic about getting the lights off 290, this problem is not going to be solved. People aren't going to stop moving to our community. People aren't going to stop moving to Elgin, Giddings, Houston, and driving to Austin. So that needs to happen. Now the political reality is the governor did say there aren't going to be any more tolls in Texas. That's not law. That's a political statement that can be changed with effective advocacy. Now I have experience working when I did work with the Texas legislature, uh, bringing together broad coalitions to accomplish tasks. Um, I've already been in the process of reaching out to different entities, whether it's with TxDOT, CTRMA, CAMPO, um, different state reps, senators, and talking about this issue. And the general consensus was we need some more support, cover even, from Maynard. Because right now the whole idea is that Maynard rejects this idea. So I brought forward this notion that Maynard needs to pass this resolution to give you know, these other entities cover to move forward with this. And I do want to thank Mayor John C., City Manager Bold, and, and Council for passing this resolution as well, because it's a great first step to, do, to doing this. It's not going to get us there, and we need an advocate in office who's going to fight for this extension, otherwise it's just not going to happen otherwise. Another aspect, roads are not going to be the only solution to this. We need to look at other alternatives to transportation. If elected, I would strongly advocate for, obviously support the Green Line and more bus lines as well for this community. So people have more options outside of just getting on the road and going to work. Um, that was something that if Mayor Johnson was here, I would thank her personally for this because I know she's been a strong advocate on Cap Metro, um, but that's something that I would continue to do and push to move forward.